Are you struggling to lose fat? If this question hits a little too close to home, don't worry, we've got you covered. Today, we're diving into a convenient, no-equipment solution for burning fat right from the comfort of your own home. We're introducing a two-week plan specifically designed to target those pesky areas, belly fat, side fat, and back fat. This isn't just about losing weight, it's about transforming your body and boosting your health. Imagine having a personal trainer guiding you every step of the way, without the hefty price tag or the need to step foot in a gym. Our at-home, no-equipment routine is just that. It's a comprehensive plan that's been carefully curated to maximize fat burn and help you sculpt those abs you've always dreamt of. So, are you ready to embark on this journey with us? Stay tuned for a series of exercises that will help you burn fat and get those abs you've always wanted. Before we dive into the core workouts, make sure to properly warm up. Warming up your body is as essential as the workout itself. It prepares your body for the strenuous exercises ahead, increases your heart rate, and loosens up your muscles, reducing the risk of injury. Now let's get started with our warm-up routine. Begin with some light cardio, such as jogging in place or jumping jacks. Aim for about two minutes of this heart-pumping activity. Next, let's focus on stretching. Start with your neck, rolling it gently from one side to the other. Then, move down to your shoulders, arms, and wrists. Don't forget your torso. Twist it side to side to loosen up your core. Follow this with some hip circles and leg stretches. Remember, the goal here is not to exhaust yourself but to prime your body for the workout ahead. Now that you're warmed up, let's move on to the fat-burning exercises. Ready to sweat? Here are the core workouts that will burn your fat away. Our first core exercise is the classic plank. This is a staple in any core regimen and for good reason. It's simple, effective, and requires no equipment. Begin by getting into a push-up position, but rest your weight on your forearms instead of your hands. Your body should form a straight line from your shoulders to your ankles. Engage your core by sucking your belly button into your spine. Hold this position for as long as you can, aiming for at least 30 seconds to one minute. Remember to breathe steadily and maintain a neutral neck and spine position throughout. Next, we move on to the Russian twist. Sit on the ground with your knees bent, pull your abs to your spine and lean back a few inches while keeping your back straight. Extend your arms in front of you and twist your torso to the right, then to the left to complete one rep. This movement targets the obliques, helping to tone those side muscles and burn off that pesky side fat. Start with 10 reps and gradually increase as you build more strength. The third workout is the bicycle crunch, a great exercise for the upper and lower abs. Lie flat on your back, place your hands behind your head, lightly supporting your neck. Lift your knees to a 90 degree angle. Now slowly go through a bicycle pedal motion, touching your right elbow to your left knee, and then your left elbow to your right knee. Perform this for one minute. This workout is all about control and precision rather than speed, so take it slow and focus on your breathing and form. Our final core workout is the leg raise. Lie flat on your back on the floor or a mat. Place your hands by your sides or underneath your glutes for added lower back support. Keeping your legs straight, use your core muscles to lift your legs up toward the ceiling until they are at about a 90 degree angle. Lower them back down but don't let them touch the floor. This keeps the tension on your abs. Begin with 10 reps and as your core strength improves, you can increase the number of repetitions. Remember, each of these exercises can be modified to accommodate your current fitness level. For instance, if a full plank is too challenging, try a half plank with your knees on the floor. If the Russian twist is too intense, do it without the twist. Just lean back, keeping your back straight and your abs pulled to your spine. The key is to start where you are and progress as your strength increases. These core workouts are designed to help you burn fat and get those abs you've always wanted. But remember, exercise is only half the battle. You also need to maintain a healthy diet to fuel your workouts and aid in fat loss. And most importantly, remember that everyone's body is different. Results will vary based on your current fitness level, diet, and genetic makeup. So don't compare your journey to anyone else's. Focus on your own progress and celebrate your achievements, no matter how small they may seem. So there you have it, four core workouts that you can do at home, no equipment needed. Incorporate these into your fitness routine and you'll be on your way to a stronger, leaner core. Remember, consistency is key. Do these workouts daily for optimal results. To enhance your results, here are some additional exercises targeting your side and back fat. 
Let's kick things off with the side plank dips. This exercise is fantastic for reducing side fat and also strengthens your oblique muscles. Start by positioning yourself in a side plank position. Your body should form a straight line from your head to your feet. Now lower your hips towards the ground, then lift them back up as high as you can. That's one repetition. Remember to keep your core tight throughout the exercise and don't forget to breathe. It's crucial to maintain good form to prevent any injuries and maximize the effectiveness of this exercise. Next, let's move on to Superman lifts, an excellent exercise for targeting back fat. This exercise not only helps in fat burning, but also strengthens your lower back muscles. To begin, lie flat on your stomach with your arms stretched out in front of you, like Superman flying. Now, raise your arms and legs off the ground as high as you can, hold this position for a few seconds then slowly lower back down. That's one rep. Keep your neck neutral and your gaze towards the ground to avoid straining your neck. It's all about control and precision, not speed. As you perform these exercises, always listen to your body. If something doesn't feel right, stop. It's better to do fewer reps with good form than many with poor form. Quality over quantity is the key here. And remember, consistency is king when it comes to burning fat and getting in shape. So make sure to incorporate these exercises into your daily routine. You don't need any fancy equipment or a gym membership. All you need is a little space, a bit of time, and a whole lot of determination. Incorporate these exercises into your daily routine for a comprehensive fat-burning workout. After your workout, it's important to cool down. We've been burning fat, engaging our core, and working our muscles. Now it's time to give our bodies a chance to recover. Cooling down is not just about slowing down the pace, it's about transitioning your body from a state of high energy and exertion back to its normal state. Start by slowing down your movements. If you've been jumping or running in place, switch to marching or walking. Decrease the intensity gradually, allowing your heart rate to come down slowly. Next, stretch out those muscles. Stretching post-workout helps to increase flexibility, reduce muscle tension, and promote recovery. Focus on the areas that you've worked the hardest. A gentle pull held for about 30 seconds is all you need. Finally, take some deep, slow breaths. Fill your lungs completely, hold for a second, then exhale fully. Deep breathing helps to return your breathing rate to normal and calms the body. Cooling down will help your body recover and prepare for the next workout. So, are you ready to burn fat and get those abs? That's what we've been working towards and we've covered a lot in today's session. We've explored a variety of no-equipment home exercises, each designed to target a specific area of fat, be it belly fat, side fat, or back fat. Let's quickly recap. We started with a warm-up, moved on to our core workouts, introduced some additional exercises, and finally, we cooled down. It's vital to remember that each of these steps plays a crucial role in your overall fitness journey. Keep in mind, consistency is key. For optimum results, repeat these exercises for two weeks. But remember, it's not about how fast you can do these exercises, but how well. Prioritize correct form over speed, and never forget the importance of warming up before you start and cooling down afterwards. Remember, your health and fitness journey is a marathon, not a sprint. Keep going and you'll see results.